question on everyone's mind right now. Did the light win or lose with the new president of the US? We'll talk about that today on Earth, Love and Love. Roxanne Earth 11 11. I talk about everything from spiritual awakening, ascension, and oversoul embodiment, 5D New Earth. Please subscribe and hit the bell. And please share this video with as many people as you can. I really appreciate that. Now, the, the big talk in the spiritual community is that we didn't get our result. The light is lost. All is lost. Ascension is not going to happen now because a certain president didn't get elected. Now we need to realize that that is duality. Whenever you have your, your mind on a certain outcome, that's duality. That's exactly what we are healing and removing. Duality is what we are removing from the planet, which is why ascension is coming in. We're unifying all aspects of separation, the darkness and the light are coming together into zero point because when you neutralize the darkness you're able to use the strengths the benefits of that part of yourself and the part of the world that was being used other ways so you need to realize that the light has already won this is why we're seeing everything play out out there it's not that we get rid of the darkness and then we go, oh, hey, hey, the light can come in now. Now there's room for it. That's opposite. The light has already been returned, which is why the shadow, the gringy stuff, the darkness is coming up to be seen, felt, and known by everyone. That's how we heal it. That's how we, we remove those systems from the earth plane. So this is why we're seeing everything happen right now. The light has been coming in for so many months and years. It's hitting everything. It's hitting our DNA, us at the core level. It's hitting our planet and all the systems that have been in place for many, many hundreds or thousands of years. They are all being dissolved at the core level, which is why we're seeing everything play out. So we don't have to think that, oh, the light has lost because a certain person didn't win an office or a certain event didn't happen. There's nothing that can stop the light. The light has already returned. We are already seeing the result of that light return playing out. So take a deep breath and know all is well. It's all happening perfectly. It's all working and rearranging itself to allow ascension and higher consciousness states to be birthed on planet earth new earth is here we are seeing the remnants of the old dissolve and you are going to be seeing more and more things being outed coming up to be seen and felt and known by everyone because they're on their way out so what's going to happen in the next few months we're going to be seeing more and more of these things come up because more people have to awaken. Not everyone's awake. People still have their blinders on. They don't want to know. But when things get even more crazy and more chaotic, then they can no longer sit in the old, their small beliefs into, oh, this is how it is because I'm told this and it's what I believed all my life. No one will be able to stay asleep when things get more and more crazy. So again, you have to remember this light is hitting everyone. It's not just hitting the light workers and the star seeds. This light is hitting every single person at the DNA level. And of course, every structure in the entire world. Everything that is of duality, where some people make all the money and other ones get nothing. Some people take everything and other ones get nothing. Some people control everything and other people just allow it to happen. All that's being dissolved. Now remember, the light is shining on everyone, which means that also includes the bad people. So if you think about yourself, what you're going through, the massive changes that you're going through, ascension symptoms, 
all these things that are coming up in you, they're being purged out. That's the darkness, the toxins, the old emotional debris, the old belief patterns that are coming up and out of you, which is why everyone right now is getting sick. Of course, they call it a certain name, but it's happening because everyone is awakening whether they want to or not. Their body is purging away density. The earth plane has already raised in consciousness level many, many times, especially the last few months. So remember, this light is hitting everyone, including the bad people, which means that just like someone that's unconscious, that's living in ego, completely controlled by their ego, they don't like when the light hits because they think it's everything out there is the reason why they're feeling sick or why they are feeling irritated or angry or upset. So what happens is just like someone that projects their anger onto someone else, well, the system, the people at the top that are pulling the strings are being hit with this high vibrational light as well. And because they are full of so much density and ego, there's barely any light in these people, they're going to respond by controlling and clamping down society even more because that's how they act. That, that's their reaction to the energy that's making them feel squeezed and making them purge themselves. So just like everyone, we're all going through this ascension. The more density, the more ego someone has, the more that they are racking up the karma by trying to control people or poison people, racking up more density. It gets tougher and tougher. And a lot of these people probably won't even make it past a couple of years. So instead of jumping for joy and being excited that these people are gonna be purged off the earth plane, we need to be in our hearts and send these people love because they need it. And when you send someone love, you neutralize the darkness. That's how we neutralize the control and the power over other people. When we fight with people and we protest and we argue, that is just feeding the fire. Your attention, your, your emotion fuels that negativity. It gets stronger. It gives these bad people more power, more control over society. When we detach from it and stop allowing our emotions to be fed, and to be pulled around by what happens in the external world, that's our strength. That's how we're able to detach, send these people love because they need it, and they will lose their power and lose these systems. Again, they're already crumbling. You don't have to do anything. You just have to sit back, stay out of everything going on right now. If you haven't, um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, watch my other video because I explain what's going on right now. It's not, it's not about the pandemic. It's not about the election or any other thing happening. It's about a complete raising of consciousness on this planet. We are moving up into multidimensionality as individuals and as the macrocosm, as the whole planet. We are all becoming galactic citizens. Again, don't believe a word I'm saying. You're going to be experiencing this. So if you're having lots of issues like ascension symptoms, please watch my other videos. I have lots of videos on that. Um, and just realize that we are winning. The light has already won. The light has already come in, which is why people are even waking up. The light has come in, which is why the systems are crumbling and all the bad people are being exposed. And we don't need to fight and say, oh, well, so-and-so should have got elected or this and that. Because it's all happening perfectly. Anything that happens right now, the systems that take more and more control and pounce down on people more with more restrictions, it's just going to wake people up even faster. So everything happening right now is happening in divine timing. We just need to worry about ourselves right now, do our inner work. So detach from the external world, stop fighting with everyone, stop arguing with people and trying to wake everybody up. Instead, get your vibration up and the light coming from you will start waking people up just by you walking down the street.
That's how we change the planet. That's how we ascend an entire planet and all of humanity is by doing our inner work. When you do your inner work, you become a powerful Taurus field, expanding out your energy for every single person and everyone's hit with this energy. That's how they start removing their blinders and are able to then accept and see the truth that they didn't see before. Think about yourself. Typically, you probably haven't been awake since you were born. There was something that happened that made you wake up. I have another video called The Dark Side of Spiritual Awakening, which you can watch as well. You didn't even know any of this stuff. You had no idea what was going on. You had no idea about the dark agenda or the bad people. We just went through our lives and that's how consciousness works. So consciousness, light, is coming in, which is why we're able to see the whole truth of something or see more of something. And when we raise our consciousness more and more and more, again, by doing the inner work, yes, we can get information out there. We can watch other people's videos. We can read a bunch of books, but the work is internal. You remove your own resistance, your own ego, and you allow yourself to be a conduit of the light. That is how we change the world on a big scale. So all is well. Take a deep breath and know that the light has already won. And we're going to now sit back and watch everything play out without us reacting. That's the key. You are a God sovereign free being. You stay in your heart centered in balance and you offer love to people that need it and support. And when someone is asking questions, you can help them. But when you're just trying to throw your opinions and your truth onto others, all they do is run away from it. And they, sh they close themselves up and they fight with you, right? So that is not the technique we need. That is, again, a duality, masculinated perspective. Again, we don't have to worry about feminine masculine at this point, but just realize that everything is about being neutral. We need to be neutral and that is our ability to stay in our heart and to know that all is well. The light has won. We'll see you soon on Earth 1111. If you like the video, please like it, comment, and please share it with as many people as you can so we can share the light and remove the fear. And please subscribe and hit the bell. We'll see you soon on Earth 1111. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.